Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Marco! Hey guys! Today we're doing a video that I would never do because I'm about to break the bank. We are going to be comparing Starbucks fall drinks to Dunkin' Donuts fall drinks. I am so excited. I'm nervous because I really have never had Dunkin'. I've only had the Charlie drink from Dunkin'. And it wasn't, like it was good. We're in the Starbucks drive-thru right now getting our drinks. I have a list of, let me count, eight things. What do you mean 20? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give two star ratings for each drink. We're gonna give a star rating out of 10 for how good the drink tastes, just in general. And then we're gonna give a star rating for how good the representation of fall is in this drink. And then at the end, we will compare Starbucks to Dunkin'. I already know who's gonna win. Starbucks? <laughs> Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's honestly not a bad order at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you anything else? No, that's it. Okay, it's gonna be thirty ninety five. All right, thank, thank you. you. No, she looked like Anna from TikTok, the Starbucks girl, and she sounded exactly like her, and she was so nice. What if I it was her? No, I. I'm gonna tell you guys something that you need to do right now. Go subscribe to Marco. <laughs> His channel will be linked down below in a card everywhere. He's so funny. His videos are so entertaining. He's getting his grind on and you should go subscribe and support, 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 support. Before we start tasting things, I just wanted to clarify because Marco and I say it tastes like fall a lot and it makes absolutely no sense but basically what we mean by it tastes like fall is it has some sort of pumpkin flavor or some sort of cinnamony flavor or some flavor that separates it from just a normal drink and it makes it feel like it's more of a festive or holiday drink rather than just like a plain iced coffee or a plain iced latte. So, the first one we're gonna be testing is the pumpkin cream cold brew. Okay, I wanna start with the cold brew. Okay. Oh no, no, that's not the cold brew because I feel like it's gonna be bad. If you've never tried this one, you guys really should. I already know how that one tastes. Is it good or bad? <laughs> it's good. Mm. You have to get it extra sweet and extra milk for you to be like, this is the bomb. It tastes like the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. I don't taste the pumpkin. We should have gotten a straw to mix it. You don't have plastic straws in here? Uh, no. Save the turtles. Wait. Okay, that was better. Let's rate it. Just taste overall. I would personally give it a 7 out of 10. I like sweeter drinks, but if I want like a light coffee, I would definitely get it. But like literally every single day, I drink a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. And so I obviously like it, but like I'd rather have like a chai latte or something, but it's so bad for you that I just get like something healthier. 7 out of 10. That's my explanation. That's all I have to say. I really do like this drink. I give it a six because I don't really like cold brew. I much rather prefer a latte over a cold brew, but overall, it's good. Rating for the fallness of the drink, I would give it literally like a four out of ten. Like, if you gave that to me, I would think it was a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. I'm not even kidding. So, four out of ten. Mm -hmm. Maybe less. Two out of ten on the fallness. For fall, I really wouldn't give it like anything high because it really just isn't. It just tastes like cinnamon. I, I give it a one. Really? Yes. You a just one. went lower than me each time. This is the, the freaking latte. iced pumpkin spice latte. Wait, I really Next, we're trying the pumpkin spice latte. I hate pumpkin spice lattes. <sighs> they are disgusting. That's all I have to say about that. I'm kind of scared now. Um, mm, you can try it. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. The beginning is fine, and then the no. aftertaste is just like... Just... Go for it. Wait, I want to try it again. <laughs> I need to get my overall consensus. Yeah. It's, like, it's not good. <laughs> it's not It's not terrible. It's not terrible and awful. It's terrible. No, like, but I just would never order it. Because, like, why? I would give it a 3 out of 10 on just taste in general <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world i'm giving it a 3 out of 10 because there's worse like mm -hmm. plain 
you know, black coffee is worse than that, I think. So my rating for the pumpkin spice latte, I'm not gonna lie, I really did not like it, so I'm gonna give it a one. I just don't like how it tastes. Like usually when I think of like a pumpkin spice latte, I think of pumpkin pie. Like the taste of what pumpkin pie is, oh, I yeah, want that yeah. in a coffee. But that really just disappointed me. Like Starbucks, what are you doing that your coffee tastes like my super water? Hole, like my booty hole would <laughs> taste better than that. It's really overrated. It's really overrated. For the fall rating, I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10 just because when you think of fall in Starbucks, that's the thing that immediately comes to your brain. If you gave me that drink, I'd be like, okay, this kind of tastes like, you know, cinnamony, like holiday drink mm -hmm. vibes. It's not just like a normal, you know, vanilla latte. But like also the reason that I gave it a six out of 10 is really only because of its relevance in Starbucks during the fall time. If that wasn't the, the case, it would mm -hmm. be like a three. So my fall rating is a five. Like it does suit for what Starbucks is trying to do like during the fall, like obviously pumpkin, spice, tasting, no. I am very mad at this. So next we have a pumpkin frappuccino. I I'm also very scared one. for this one cause like Why? that's gonna be this, but just blended. blended. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. Okay, this tastes better than this. I don't know what's going on in here. I just want to go back to Starbucks and throw it at them. I actually really do like this one. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. Nothing's overpowering anything. Like it all just goes together and it's so good. Like mm -hmm. it actually is. And I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight too because I think it's really good. Uh huh. Like I probably wouldn't get it again. Me I don't either. Know why. So then we have the. I'm actually really excited for this one. It's the iced apple crisp macchiato. So it has like layers. So we're gonna have there to mix it. There's the apple it. crisp at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Stop. I'm disappointed. Now dip your straw at the bottom and then taste the syrup. The syrup is good. Yeah. Sweet mama Jesus good. It's really good. So bad. This tastes like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Taste wise, two out of 10. Just because I'm so disappointed because apple macchiato sounded so, apple, it, like apple cinnamon macchiato sounded so good to uh -huh. me. So two out of 10. So my taste rating would be a zero out of 10 because it just tastes awful. I really do not like this. I just don't think you need to incorporate apple and coffee together. My fall rating is also a zero out of 10. So. My fall rating would be a zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. The last drink that we have is something that I get often, but it is the best thing that you will ever have in your, well, I'm not gonna get your um, expectations too high. Okay. It's an iced chai latte with pumpkin cold foam on top. This was famous last year, I think. Everyone was getting it. <laughs> I just really like it. Stop, so good. I give this a 10 out of 10 all the way around. 10 out of 10 for the taste, 10 out of 10 for giving me fall vibes. It's literally no, orange. No, it really, okay, so I will give it a nine out of 10. For right now, since it's fall, I would honestly get this again because it's actually really good. What did so you get here? So we have food items. The first one is a pumpkin scone. I've actually had this, it's pretty good. Taste test, let's actually do it at the same time. Okay. I'll break it in half. I mean, I like it. Okay. Honestly, I give it a 10 out of 10 for the taste. It tastes really good. For taste, I give it a nine because of the icing on top of it. It's a little bit too sweet for my liking. For the fall rating, I also give it a 10 out of 10. So that's okay. just like a 10 out of 10 for me. My fall rating would be a 10 out of 10 because it really looks like a very fall type of like aesthetically pleasing dessert or like something that you want to have in the morning or whenever. Okay, our next food item is this pumpkin cream cheese muffin thing. <laughs> it looks gross, it, it sounds great. Not for me. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> at all, like at all? I don't like the, the cream cheese. It's not cream cheese, it's like 
mushy and gross. Okay. Taste, I mean the, the muffin part doesn't taste bad, so I'll give it like a six out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10 because mm. the cream cheese really just doesn't go with pumpkin spice. No, I think it does. It's just that the like, the or consistency think... of the cream cheese was not good at all. If you look at it, the way that it looks is exactly it's m how it feels. <laughs> Usually like cream cheese has like air in it. That just is very thick. What are you talking about? Like it's- n I think we eat different types of cream <laughs> cheese. I eat the the Costco um cheesecake. Was what? that cream cheese or um or cheesecake? What? Do you what? not eat like regular cream cheese? Yeah, I do. Like Philadelphia yes. cream cheese. Is that what that is? No, this is like cream cheese frosting. So it's okay. like has sugar in it. Like you, have you ever made like yes, a carrot I've, cake or yes. like red velvet? Yes, red velvet. Where you make cream cheese frosting? Yeah, That's I really is. Okay, so frosting, the, I really didn't like that one because when I think of frosting, I think of like a very fluffy frosting, you know? That wasn't fluffy, that was like mushy. <laughs> it really wasn't like sharp. For the fall rating, I'm gonna give it nine out of 10. Like it tastes like fall. Nine out of 10 for fall. The only one I would recommend is this one for okay. sure. If you want a sweet drink, if you want more of like a cold brew drink, I would recommend the pumpkin cream cold brew or like a coffee type of drink. I'd recommend yeah. that. And then for the food, I would definitely recommend the scone and that's about it. We're gonna go to Dunkin' now and then we'll compare this shit to that shit. Hi, um, I just have a mobile order What's for the name? Cassie. Okay, thank you. Alright, so we got two six feet cash down. No, that's not me. We have a I have a mobile order. Oh the mobile order for who? Cassie. For, for Cassie? Yes. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're sitting yeah. You good. Yeah, thank you. Good. Thank you, you too. Those that guy's eyes were so pretty and yeah, really nice. I look uh, Can we get this one over with? <laughs> yeah. So let's get this what very scared of these because like I don't know if you guys have ever seen vegan mac and cheese. Their cold foam looked like yeah. the sauce. <laughs> this is a pumpkin cream cold brew. Yeah. No, no, never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. I'm scared. That is so bad. <laughs> This tastes like dirt. Water. It like literally tastes like dirt. I need oh, to get okay. that out of my mouth right this freaking second. Do you want water? No. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. All around. Zero out of ten. Negative zero. Negative you 100 out of ten. You shouldn't even like... Let me give you a free version. Go outside. Pick up some dirt. Doesn't matter what, what kind. It? Go fill up a cup with water. Put the dirt inside. Stir it around. Take a nice big chug of that. Uh. Tastes exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> this is an iced... Pumpkin spice <laughs> latte. Mm -hmm. Is it good actually? No, it's not as bad as Starbucks though. Okay. okay. Kind of like it actually. Something happened where like Duncan is making Starbucks drinks and Starbucks is making Duncan drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is actually like 10 times better than Starbucks. Like Starbucks really just Gross. wasn't. I wonder if people are going to hate us for saying that. What? Starbucks is not good. Starbucks is just not good in general. So that like. They're lots of, that they're um, Chipotle. <laughs> that their pumpkin spice latte wasn't good. Are you doing tarot? Terrorists? I'm not a terrorist. You're racist. You're racist. <laughs> It says manual focus, doesn't it? Does it? MF. Can you focus on me? There. That would have been all out of focus. For the pumpkin spice, I give it an eight, an eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. You give it an eight out of ten? Yes, I also give it an eight out of ten. Okay. An eight out of ten. For fall, I also give it an eight out of ten yeah, because me it too. really does fit like the fall standards. Eight out of ten out of everything mm -hmm. ever. Two vanilla shot black <laughs> See, pumpkin cold foam. It's. It tastes like booty crack. Oh, it tastes like you just put water inside of this. Zero out of ten for both. <laughs> zero I'm out of really zero terrified. for every egg single category on both <laughs> of these. So now we're doing the pumpkin chai latte. Their chai and matcha are the grossest <gasps> things I've ever had in my life. Really? What does their Would matcha not... taste like? Literally grass. Okay. And this just looks bad because it's so white. white. This tastes like 
It's not Hispanic. I was gonna say this is Hispanic. Horchata. This, yes, that's what this tastes. Horchata. horchata. <laughs> this is horchata. Horchata. What did you call me? Did you just Shut call me a up. whore? The thing is, it is too sweet for me. Um, so I I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Also, for the fall standards. Did I just spray that on you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. So for fall, I give it a five out of ten as well because it is. It does taste like a fall drink, but it's just. It needs a little bit more of pumpkin of something. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten because like I kind of like it like I mm -hmm. would drink it again Like mm -hmm. so six out of ten for okay. taste. Okay for my fall rating I'll give it a five out of ten because mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't really taste like pumpkin It tastes like a good chai, but like this doesn't taste like the regular chai This tastes way better than the regular chai mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's different or if they changed their chai or something. Oh. This is an iced original coffee with pumpkin cold Okay, it's just like an iced coffee with pumpkin Sweet cream cold film, I guess. But there's, I don't see the cold film, but. <laughs> tastes like a better version of those, I guess. <laughs> not the worst thing ever, but not Why the does best. it taste like bacon? When you cook bacon and the smell of it. No. It's like just very basic, not very yeah. fall like. I would give it for flavor and taste just like a 3 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Simple, easy. I give it 2 out of 10. For the fall rating, I give it a 0 out of 10 because I don't. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't taste really like fall. taste. So this is just like a pumpkin donut, I think. It looks like pee. <laughs> No, it looks like it looks those like donuts that nobody ever likes or ever gets because they just aren't good. They're just good. the cake donuts? Well, yeah. that's kind of what it is. Okay. okay. What do you have to say? I like it, but I just don't like the glaze on it. I like the glaze on it. I would just give it, like, for overall taste, mm -hmm. 6 out of 10. Nothing okay. special about it. Just very basic. And it's not as a, as strong of a pumpkin mm -hmm. flavor as the stuff from Starbucks. Yeah. The only thing that I did not like was the glaze because it's already sweet on its own. And then adding the glaze on it just kind of like makes it even more sweet. So I give it like a 8 out of 10. Okay, so then for fall, I would give it like same same thing, 6 out of 10. And same for me. I give it an 8 out of 10 because it really fits like the fall vibe. Okay, next food item. Yeah, this is just a pumpkin. Pumpkin muffin. There's too much of something in it. It's okay. <clears throat> I'm getting too much pumpkin in my mouth now. <laughs> She's having a pumpkin breakdown. It, Everything tastes it just bad tastes the same. at this point because it's just like too much. So I would give this 7 out of 10 for taste. Mm -hmm. 7 out of 10 for taste too. For fall, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Doesn't taste like fall at all to me. Really? To me, it tastes like... It just tastes like coffee cake. To me, it actually does taste like pumpkin. The overall consensus, I actually haven't really thought about it yet. Let me just tell you this. The only things that I would buy again is this iced chai latte with pumpkin sweet cream cold foam on top. Mm -hmm. And this from Dunkin', which is the pumpkin spice latte. So... That was our little review on Starbucks versus Dunkin'. <laughs> Honestly, overall, like food and drinks mm -hmm. and everything, I'm going with Starbucks. Don't hate on us if we <laughs> don't have the same opinion as you. Because there please. are a lot of Dunkin' whores out there, and I and I <laughs> totally respect you. I'll just get my coffee where I want to get my coffee. You get your coffee where you want to get your coffee. Yeah. Next point blank period, nothing else matters. Yeah. With that being said, Starbucks is the best. Starbucks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Marco. You know, comment down below. Do whatever you want to do. Like the video. Also, me and Marco, like, spent the whole weekend together. We went to a her concert. So, I'm going to have a whole vlog on that. He's going to have a whole vlog on that. Okay, I'll see you guys all again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.